Ушли и морда. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. And Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Is it a Ready. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Let me see that hook now. Oh, big punch land. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And... I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. That is how you scramble, folks. Put hands on. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. 
jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Ooh. Big knee. Big knee. Just misses with the jet. He loaded up there with that high kick. That is, oh man, this dude is good. And now he lands a combination. Collar tie. Knee to the body. Back to the body shots now. That one blocked. Oh! oh, that right hand is on point. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh! Some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Big head kick. Oh, nice. Nice. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And they separate. Right hand punch the clinch. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. You got to check these low oh. legs. Oh. Oh. You see on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot, and that was a perfect shot. Man, he's just got a great feel for the strike. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Just misses with the straight right. Leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, a single collar tie there. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. Kick. These guys are going at it. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, he landed. Oh, that's a perfect body shot there. He's has unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly. And now he's got his opponent hurt. Just unable to quite find that range. Wow. but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Ooh, blocks the shot. And he continues to work the body here. 
big call from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, bleeding from his cheeks now. Damage done. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And then he goes in the hand. Oh, huge block! I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Look at him whip his hip oh. into that kick. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Beautiful body. Whips on the elbow. Left hand punch from the plane. They continue to exchange. Just missed with the leg kick. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Punch over the top. Real quick leg kick. Good right hand. Lands a switch speed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That right hand landed. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Just out of range with that right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Got the single collar tie. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. That shot blocked by Lee. This fight's gonna be over this time. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He lands a big knee to the body. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. inside the octagon Bruce Buffer with the official decision ladies and gentlemen referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes 50 seconds of round number two declaring the winner by knockout assassin oh and there he is after a huge knockout win tonight you've only after party to win I mean I'm heading over there right now John <laughs> I'm asking the producers how soon can I get up because it's gonna be a party over there not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.